Welcome. Good morning. To another edition of the Morning Cup. <laughs> Paige Arizona's Morning Show. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thanks for being here. And thank you for doing all those things that Facebook despises. Such yes. as. Oh, oh, wow. We've gone back to the. the well, you know, it's Facebook. You never know. Now. You never know, man. I, did, I don't even know. <laughs> Still going to make that shirt. Yeah, I do. I, I do. don't even know, man. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it's on the list of things to do. <laughs> yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, it is uh, another Murphy Monday. Okay, what's happened? No, well, nothing. Oh, but, okay. Uh, see, I put <laughs> it on the thing. <laughs> what does it say, Lois? I love you and your, your M's. Let's see if you can manage today. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? So, Morning Cup of <clears throat> Malignant and Majestic Manic Monday. All right, wow. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> Apparently, we can no longer do the show, because now Lois can do all of her M's. Oh, you're so full of it. <laughs> but, but our goal is accomplished forever now. Uh, uh, no, no. We were just trying to teach you how to do M's. Uh, oh, okay, right. That's mm -hmm. it. And we're done. And uh, you'll mission accomplished. Up, you'll, you'll come up with some funky, weird stuff for next week. I know you will. Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> the challenge has been put out again. <laughs> Michael says, good morning, everyone. Good, good morning. morning. Michael, good to see you. Thanks for being here. And Michelle says, morning, good morning. morning. Good to see you, Debbie. Morning. Good to see you. It's Scott Smart. Good morning. morning. Dave says, hey, Murphy. And David says, oh, wow, it's like magic. Huh. It is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. No? Okay, fine. And Michael says, Hail Murphy. Yes, Hail Murphy. It is Murphy Monday, so just be careful. Warning, the show is for entertainment purposes only. We do not actually worship Murphy. If you have no idea who Murphy is or what the heck we're talking about, check him out sometime. Murphy's Law. <laughs> oh, my. We all have to pay homage every once in a while, otherwise. Well, even then, you still get it, but you know, yeah, uh -huh. you know, it makes you feel a little bit better about it. <laughs> Especially on Mondays. Oh, boy. <laughs> Especially on Mondays. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh. Sorry, a little uh, contemplative there for a moment. I'm yeah. not really sure what's going on here. Uh, let's see, Renee says, good morning, good morning, Renee. Good, good to see you. And Scott says, Kelly says, good morning as well. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you guys. So, yeah, it, uh, we had uh, we had a weekend. Yes, we there, did. There was that. <laughs> what? <laughs> We had a weekend. We had a weekend. Oh, um, uh, oh and, and it was Father's Day. Yes, it was. So happy Father's Day to all of you fathers out there. Yes. Happy Father. Well, late Father's Day. Whatever. It, it, it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we were busy. Uh, we were. We yes. were. We were out and about. Out and about. I was going to say out and about. Out and about. It doesn't sound right when you say it normally anymore. I know. <laughs> we, had to, we had to switch going out and about to because the dogs, when they hear the words out, they're like, oh, what? <laughs> what? And they're like, no, 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 that's not what we were saying. And they're like, but you said no. <laughs> so we had to switch it to the boot. We turned Canadian. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Yep, I, I have got to get those shirts made. <laughs> With, i got to get the face in there. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Oh <coughs> but it was the dog's fault. That is why we switched to oot and the boot. Yes. So... It's, it's your dog's fault that we turned into Canadians? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know if that's acceptable. <laughs> uh, I'm not feeling comfortable with that life choice. <laughs> your dog's turned us into Canadians. Oh. I, 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 no. <laughs> no that, that's just not right. Oh. I, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> Although it sounds funny, so, but I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. I don't know. <laughs> don't know, man. Don't know. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Uh, uh -huh. know. Yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, Gina says, good morning, good morning, Gina, good to see you. And uh, Gina says, I can't say walk. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, my. It's funny how dogs make you change your, your, your speech patterns. You know, the, the worst part is, though, is if they adapt. And then you got to figure out a new thing to say. I think they probably know what oot and boot means. Uh, well, Just they saying. don't get as excited anymore. Yeah, but they, they but you can kind of see it in their eyes. You're like, hmm? <laughs> like, no. Because we still use out Yeah. when, when we're talking <laughs> to them. So it, it's one of those, are they talking about us when we say oot and a boot? Yeah. You know, so. They have to think about it. it which yeah. is good because the synapses in the puppies are a little slow. Which is good, you know, because if they were. It depends in, on what it is. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> that's not synapses, though. That's just raw instinct kicking in, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, good Lord. But, uh, yeah, so, so uh, for Father's Day yesterday. Uh, we uh, we decided that we were going to go on a, a Father's Day kind of uh, 
uh, cruise on the lake. Uh, yes. But before that happens, let's get back to the dogs here. Oh. Uh, somebody, somebody. I don't know what he's talking about. Decided it was going to be a great idea to stuff some of their little bones full of peanut butter. <laughs> but she did it way before it was time to go. You said I had ten minutes. Well, I thought we did. It wasn't my fault. It was your fault. Uh, wait. <laughs> just, whoa, whoa. just accept it and move on. Oh, by, be, the way, by the way, where is YouTube? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on YouTube, we apologize. <laughs> I'm looking at a blank monitor here. <laughs> it's not my fault. We apologize if you, might, if you guys are over there. Well, you never know when they might be over there. When they're high. We don't know, man. We don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's see, where's the YouTube oh, goodness, Okay, we're okay. not we're good. We're good. YouTube is good. Yeah. Anyway, where was I? You you derailed my train of that thought. That it was my fault. Scott says, uh, your camera keeps going blurry. Really? Huh. That might be uh, the internet. I don't the, the camera itself is on manual focus, so it could be if I get too close or far away, the focal point is like here, so that's my fault. I do apologize. <laughs> Either that or it's just Monday and everybody's vision is blurry. So it's yeah. your fault. There you go. <laughs> oh, at least you take credit where, when and where you need it. Oh, this is true. Oh, look, somebody popped in on the YouTube side. This is Trish says, good morning. Good morning. Good to see ya. Where was I? Peanut oh, yes. butter and my fault. Yes, peanut butter. So she decided she was going to put some peanut butter and some bones, but first she had to clean out the bones. Yes. Because apparently they had some vestiges of the last peanut butter in there Ooh. from months ago. Uh, thank goodness they can't reach it. I know, yeah. Their their tongues can't quite get all the way into the hole. Though. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not going there. Shh. Warning the show us for entertainment purposes only. Oh, entertainment it's purposes not unplugged. only. It's not unplugged. It's not unplugged. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Clicking your heels will not make it so low. Right, right. It won't. It won't. I'm just saying. Uh, Renee says, uh, nice transition, Lois. Oh, my God. Wait, which one? The YouTube. Oh, I was at 30 seconds. I don't even know what man. But anyway, so she's cleaning them out. And then you, you have this, like, fetish for the organic whatever peanut butter that has the oil separation in it. Uh, right, because mm -hmm. it has no sugars in it. Right. It's just peanut and salt. Right. But see, and it's better for them. Well, right. It, you know, but then you had to stir it and apparently there was a disaster related uh, to that. There was. There was. And it's the first time that's happened. Well, apparently your coordination is going downhill. It's something. Which <laughs> does not really surprise me because it's you. <laughs> what? I love you, but you're, you're, you're not very coordinated most days. That's why you trip on air. Okay, that's a genetic thing. Oh, tripping on air is genetic? Yes. You know, that's interesting. We'll have to look into that. Yes. Tripping on air is a genetic disorder. That was yes, awesome. yes. All right. So, so what's the rest of the excuses then? Probably genetic. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody didn't write the blueprints right correctly or didn't read them correctly. <laughs> We're Just saying. Into that one. <laughs> no, not getting into that one. Mm. No, 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 no. Anyway, so there was an oil disaster. Joseph says, good morning, good morning, good Joseph. Morning. Good to see you. So, yeah, you, you know, you stirred it, and then there was oil everywhere. And yes. And peanut butter and the dogs. You know, they, it's like as soon as you open that jar, they could smell it, and they started uh, losing their minds. Oh, no, Tigger started when she saw the jar. Oh, she saw the jar? She okay. saw the jar. Bangle, it took a little while. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> and then he saw the bones and was sort of watching. Like, what you do? With and the then bones? as I was washing them, that's when he realized what was going on. Wait, 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 wait. I hadn't opened the peanut butter yet. Ah, all right, all right. But Tigger did start when I pulled the peanut butter out. <laughs> okay, so she's a little quicker on the draw. Yeah, she is. <laughs> and Bengals just like. <laughs> 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 so he was the slow one. Uh, yeah, he was the slow one. <laughs> and then you proceeded to attempt to stuff them. I'm not sure how that because they uh, yeah. ended up extremely messy. Uh, they did. They did. You had them up on the counter, and there was peanut butter in the bones, peanut butter out of the bones, peanut butter on the counter. Or on uh, well, uh, it yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Um, but I, I did find some dry chunks that I was able to stuff the ends with you didn't to keep it, it good enough. It, yeah, to to keep it from running everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> So you plugged the holes with dried peanut butter. I did. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, no, no. It no, worked. No, no. Come on, it worked. Oh, well, all right, all right. 
Uh, Heather says, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Kelly says, good morning, good morning. Good morning. And uh, Kat says, good morning, good morning. Good, morning. good to see you. And Kelly's, uh, what, what is that? Is that a fox f- with a piece of wood? I think it's a coffee. Oh, is that coffee? That is coffee. I can't tell. I can't tell. And uh, Carrie yeah. says, good morning. Oh, we got to close That's a coffee. Up. Yes, it is. <laughs> ah, yes, the coffees. <laughs> yeah, got to have the coffee. <laughs> so, yeah, um, he had the bones stuffed up and ready to go. And normally at that point is when you would give the dogs the bones. Uh-huh. Giving the dog a bone. I mean, oh, I know it was an easy one, but I had to do it anyway. <laughs> For those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, don't, don't ask. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so normally at that point, you're like, okay, here you go. And then they're like, <laughs> and they run off into their, you know, opposing corners uh-huh. and devour the stuff. Well, we had to wait. Yes, we did. And Not so, my fault. So the bones were on the counter. Yes, they were. And there was there was this incessant pacing all over the house. <laughs> and the crazy drool and, and the crazy eyes and like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I mean... They lost their minds. Uh, they did. They were like the last <coughs> trying to hunt their prey. Yeah, trying to hunt the, the, the <laughs> island in the kitchen. It was... It was, it, it was ridiculous. You know, it, it, oh, Kimber says, good morning, good morning, Kimber. Good morning. Over there, on the YouTube. There's the genetics. She, she, she will state that yeah, tripping over air is genetic. Is it genetic? Okay, well, uh-huh. we'll have to take your word on that. I don't, I don't even know. Me. I don't even know. Uh, Gina says, uh, Nick, Nack, Patty, Wick, give it up. Stop that. And Gary says it was my fault. Yes, it was your fault. <laughs> yes, there was, there was a specific time window, and, well, things happen, and, you know, life happens, and stuff goes on, and the dogs are like, <laughs> And I think you you said you even mentioned I think Tigger tried to actually get up on the island. She did. She did. Which That's, you don't understand for Tigger that is very strange. It, yes. Because she they was don't... not the one to do that growing up. Bangle was. Yeah, he has like this giraffe neck that can like reach up and extend out. <laughs> he it's does. Weird. He does. Um, I actually. When, and he's got like a two foot long tongue there. <laughs> and it can grab stuff. <laughs> when when I was living in a really 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 tiny apartment, I uh-huh. think it was like. 200 square feet or Oof. something. I, yeah. That's it like was, the size of this office. It was really small. <laughs> um, I I had, a, a friend of mine had made a jambalaya. Okay. And they gave me a huge bowl of it. And I put it up on the counter and put it all the way back uh-huh. to the wall. And I stepped outside to do some stuff. And all of a sudden, I hear this big crash. <laughs> it was bangle. Bangle. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. He That's and his funny. giraffe neck, man. He does, too. He just... <laughs> Which is funny, because now he has all this excess skin around his neck. You can, like, take it and play with it and stuff. And now we know why it's there, because his neck just kind of extends. And, it, and you have to have the extra skin, otherwise they just tear off. Uh, so Probably, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's like part turtle, part giraffe. <laughs> he is. Like, What's going on over there? <laughs> So normally it's him we have to deal with with that one. And apparently Tigger was so excited uh-huh. she had to try and do it. Like, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness she's too short and does not have the whole giraffe. I know, she, thing she's going. a little stubby. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny trying to get her up, see her up on, you know, get up on a counter because you get this little sausage dog with it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird. Yeah. A <laughs> little odd, a little odd. <laughs> Uh, Carrie says that they did circle when I arrived. Yeah, they do. They got this whole, like she says, raptor thing where they yeah, kind of they hunt do. from the sides and try and take your butt out. Oh, yeah. Oh, they God. tried that with the chickens once. They when, did. They did. When yeah. uh, we had the chickens. <laughs> one from one side, one from the other the side. The chickens are like, oh, 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 oh. They were squawking and flapping. <laughs> and like, oh. They were safe inside of their inside of their pen, but either way, it was just... <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have eggs for a couple of days after that. No, like, no. <laughs> you know, it's funny when chickens get stressed, the weirdness that comes out of that, you know. Uh, really? Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> it, it's weird. What? <laughs> Are the eggs square then? <laughs> the, I mean, come on, you said the weirdness that comes out of that. <laughs> oh, oh well, I guess that's true. No, but sometimes you get a double yolk or a double shell. Uh, that is That's true. always the weird mm-hmm. thing. Like, like mutant chicken eggs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. You don't see them as much in the stores, but when you got your own chickens, every once in a while, it's like, hey, I'll just let you have that one back. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, return to sender. <laughs> but anyway, no, <laughs> 
you got comments over on Facebook. I hope oh, I'm working on it over here. Wow. Uh, let's see. Don says, good morning from New Mexico. Good morning. Good, morning. good to see you. And Carrie says, uh, y'all know when I come around, there is a disturbance in the force. Anyway, add food deprivation, and they'll do all sorts of tricks. You yeah, yeah. Even point there. Uh, no, it was not food deprivation. No. They, they had already eaten breakfast. They just had that. They're like, it's a bone. It was a snacky. It's peanut butter, and they're like, oh Yeah, it was their favorite. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, they love the peanut butter wounds. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, the, we had to get that ready. And that was because we were going on the boat trip yesterday for the Father's Day thing. And uh, it you keeps were, them really busy. <laughs> yeah, so so you were you were like, well, let's give them a, you know a treat so that they feel better and and yeah. I so. do apologize for everybody whose dogs are in the room. Hey, he said the word. I did. I do apologize, <laughs> but at least I didn't say it in the excited voice. Uh, that is true. Just, that is true. But the last time you did that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you ended up with an outfit. <laughs> but Lord, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, no, no. So anyway, you were saying. Yeah, so so that was like the entire thing. So then we ended up, we got the boat loaded up and everything, and then you gave them the bones as we left. Yes. Normally, that's not something we do. Normally, you know, you give the dogs the bone, and then, you know, you kind of monitor it because, you know, Tigger is is the little sausage of thievery. <laughs> you know, she'll have one bone, and then she'll go over and take Bengal's bone, and then she'll find another bone, and she kind of hoards them all into one spot and then sits on them because she thinks she's a hen. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, dude, what are you doing? She's just over there like, they're all mine. My precious. Oh. And Bengal just sits oh. over there like, <laughs> like I want one too. Oh my god! It's so pathetic. <laughs> you know, because you know, when he gets one, he gets all excited and he'll like prance over into his little corner and he'll sit there and like, ah, la, 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 la. and Tigger will just walk up and like, and then walk yeah. off and he's like, what? <laughs> so we don't know exactly how the peanut butter situation turned out. No. I'm hoping that Bengal at least got some before Tigger came oh, over. Oh, I can almost it guarantee it. I can <laughs> almost guarantee it because he was trying to figure out. He did not want the peanut butter on his bed. Yeah, yeah, because it was kind of drippy. It, yeah, and um, he he put it near his bed, and he was trying to figure out how to keep it from moving around without getting it on his bed. Yeah, so he jammed <laughs> it up against uh, part of the hearth where the where the wood stove is. Yep. So that he could gnaw on it and lick at it without it scooting around, and especially yeah. not getting that bed, which yeah. he's still mad at Tigger about because Tigger <laughs> ate part of it. So, because that's what Tigger <laughs> does. Because Tigger is not the the uh, the brightest bulb on the tree. Uh, no, 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 she's not. She definitely is not. But the the funny thing was is he didn't even want to lay down. Really, I didn't see it, that. Yeah, <laughs> he was standing the entire time. Probably to ward off Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tigger was occupied for the 30 seconds it would take her to finish the bone off. Yeah. No, it takes her a while. <coughs> um, that's that's one of the reasons why I do this. Oh, is it? <laughs> it does. It takes a while. Uh, Renee says, uh, I have my volume turned down. Oh, oh good, right. good. Good, good. Carrie says, uh, to them, it was deprivation. It, yes. Yeah, that is Everything true. to them is deprivation. They're like, oh, nobody loves me. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's poor Bengal getting his stuff stolen. <laughs> So sad. <laughs> it really is. It's like when we let him out after the after the morning show from from the bathroom, which we have to put them in, otherwise they will beat down the door, and then we'll have dogs on the morning show. It's it, it, it's a mess. It is, and they're quite loud. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> they're like, "Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to?" And then they'll start barking at the camera because apparently we're talking to the camera, and it's and, actually it, you guys. It, yeah, yeah. So, and and mm -hmm. yeah. the dogs are not bright. <laughs> no. No. As a matter of fact, we still have the thing where it, it doesn't happen as often now, but Tigger has this thing where if you just go, knock, knock, she'll bark at you because she thinks there's someone at the door. <laughs> if you say, knock, knock. Uh, and it, 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 I don't even know, man. I don't even know. <laughs> it's, it's bad. <laughs> She's got issues. That little scruffle stand up on her sausage back. <laughs> She's like, Arr. And then one ear goes kind of straight, and the other one's like this. It got a little crook right at the tip. She's yeah. Like, <laughs> she got a little psychotic glint in her eyes. Oh my goodness! I think you've studied her way too much. No, I, have, <laughs> I just had to watch it and deal with it. Uh, Carrie says, "Oh wow, worms!" I know it. 
Yeah, poor Bangle. He he does need worms, but you know, it's, yeah, it, it just, it's it's very sad. It, yeah. it's, it's pathetic, really. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we don't know how that ended up turning out. Hopefully, it was amicable and no nobody, you know. I mean, we came back and they hadn't killed each other, so good yeah, that. That's, that is a good thing. And Bengal might over the peanut butter. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, he might. I don't know. <laughs> Normally, he's just like, oh. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, he's like, all right, I've had enough. <laughs> And that's when you gotta worry about. It's like, uh oh, because yeah. <laughs> Tigger is the instigator. She she's not nice. <laughs> She'll go over there and be like, I'm gonna, you know, like when they when they want to play, you know, they'll start doing things to each other, and Tigger will immediately go for one of his hind legs, <laughs> and she'll grab it just at the joint and and pull up, so he'll like, you know, try and make his butt fall down. And Bingo's like, what the hell? And she's just like, <laughs> <laughs> just is grab she, it and gnaw on She it. actually looks like the squirrel from Sword in the Stone. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you don't remember, you need to go back and watch. It's during one of the forest scenes with a yeah. wolf. That one was good. Oh. And then, the, and then the wolf bites his own leg. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But that is what Tigger's like. <laughs> really, really, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> one. <laughs> Whole sword in the stone thing. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, man, man. <laughs> oh, so, yes. But we did manage to finally get everything loaded mm -hmm. up and we got the boat together. And uh, the uh, some of the Unplugged group, uh, for those of you that don't know, Behind the Hat Unplugged is our behind-the-scenes group of uh, epic people. It's uh, $10 a month to help support the cause, and uh, you get to see all kinds of weird stuff and participate in strange events, like Father's Day boating. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, though. Yes, yes, it was fun. We, we got to go out there and, and have a good old... And you got to channel your internal, your internal Lieutenant Dan. We're not even there yet, man. Wow, you just like you just like jump from the beginning to bam, we're out. Let's go. Well, yeah, pretty much. Wow, all right. Fine. Go no, ahead. no, no. Go ahead. It was a little teaser for the trip. That's what and she for, said. And for the unplugged. <laughs> uh, yes, I did get to channel some of my inner lieutenant day. Yeah, I. But you did start channeling that. You know, pretty much within the first five minutes. Of yeah, it was a little windy. <laughs> a little windy. A little rainy. That, no, I said within the first five minutes of us leaving, Did I you had it? already started to laugh. Uh -oh. And you know, huh? What are you talking about? Oh my! I don't know what laugh. <laughs> really? Oh my! Mm. You got comments, man. Oh, you got comments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Carrie says, I will never drink normal coffee again in preparation for the day after. <laughs> There's that movie called that, you know. I bought me some good coffee, gourmet beans. Oh, my God, baby, it's so good and strong. No more Folgers for me. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, Carrie says, spoiler alert, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, for the yeah not really. Uh, no, okay. you do have a habit of uh, channeling him. Whenever I'm um, on the boat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter the weather. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I don't that, man. <laughs> you know what? I thought everybody had a good time. Oh, we had a great time. I don't even know. It just, every time we go out there, you just, at, at least once, mm -hmm. you're, you're channeling it. But I, I can't help myself. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it, it makes things more exciting. <laughs> Oh, and Carrie's calling you out. What? Next comment. There. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't see anything about it. I got a squint. I need a bigger monitor. Uh, Carrie says, I remember it, Dan. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. So anyway, yeah, that was, that was exciting. Oh, and speaking of which, um, so there's been a lot of, you know, we've been putting out, what? Nothing. I'm trying to figure out concerned. where I'm trying to figure out where your brain just went. <laughs> well, so we launched the boat. That's that's the first part of the story. So you're already like moving on, but the first part of the story is we've been covering um, uh, Antelope Point public launch ramp. Right? Yes. And uh, you know, first I think one of the first ones we did it was like 18 feet below. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like it is a cliff. And then it's slowly coming up and slowly coming up, and then and then finally the water is over, but it's not quite far enough. 
Yesterday, we launched at Antelope Point Public Launch Ramp, and uh, it turned out relatively well. It did. Yeah, things went nice. Yes. It was good, and uh, yeah, we were able to launch it. Now, on uh, on the uh, the bad side of that, only half of the ramp is open for normal motorized boats right now. The other half is reserved for the kayak people. We'll get into you beepers in a minute. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, not all of you do it, but you know who I'm talking about. Or you will. So anyway, only half of the ramp is open, so there's a lot of traffic, and you got a very narrow window to get your butt down there, get your stuff, and get the hell out of uh-huh. the way. <laughs> and it's not like it, it's not like um, you know, it's just a, a stated thing. They have those concrete barriers. Yeah, yeah. There's concrete. <laughs> yeah. There's K rails down there. Yeah. You can't put your boat. So yeah. You, and man, I tell you, man, some people is impatient. I saw. Yeah, I mean, wow. Because, you know, you've got two boats, you have... No, you... No, uh uh-uh. I'm not even talking about you. You're a whole nother problem. A whole different issue. Hey, at now. least I was admitting. Yeah, well, this is true. That's not what I'm talking about. So, it's about wide enough for two, two and a half, you know, vehicles to try and launch their boats at the same time. Remember that half yeah. mark? Technically three, if you're really good at what you're doing. But then you have to hope to God that the other people next to you are as well, or there's going to be some kind of damage going on to your nice and shiny vessel. See, to me, I don't care, because I've got the Puddle Pirate, which, you know, we haven't renamed the boat yet, but uh, it's coming up at some point. We're, we're still working on that. But, uh, you know, I've got basically an aluminum-encased Jeep on the water that's kind of banged up, and... I don't give a crap. You got your two hundred thousand dollars shiny fiberglass thing. If you bump into me, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Have fun with that, cause I ain't worried. And most of the people who launch don't know what the heck. They're <coughs> oh yeah, there is that. <coughs> so I bring it up because, you know, like I said, two two and a half vehicles back and down. You could squeeze in three. We found that out because someone did it. <laughs> We had, there was two vehicles in trying to get their boats out, and this guy comes in, and he starts backing down right between these other two vehicles, and there's only a few inches of clearance on either side, and we're like, somebody get a camera. Yeah, I was expecting. (laughs) But they actually did a really good job. I was impressed. So apparently they knew what they were doing, and they were so quick that they got in there, got the boat up, and got pulled out before anything could happen, before the other guys, two guys could do it. That was just like, damn, that's pretty good. (laughs) Yeah. Like, you wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that because I'm still working the whole process. I mean, what is this, like the sixth or seventh time we've Something had it? Something like out? that, yeah. Yeah, and it's different every time, and you know, so it's a little interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. But, uh, yeah, just squirted right out of there, like, no problem. Just, boom. we're like, what are we doing? I had no idea. So it can be done with it's, three at a time. But it is a rarity. Yes, well, and you, yeah. When you it goes be, like that, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Let me go ahead and check uh, the, check the comments over here. Scott says, uh, Carrie, sit down. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Carrie That's says, uh, we had a blast. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad you guys had fun. And uh, Kelly says, uh, we had a great time this whole weekend. was amazing. Awesome. Glad to hear it, guys. These guys are members of Behind the Hat Unplugged. Unplugged. Yes. And uh, they're, they're the ones that went on the trip with us. Carrie says, uh, you're not the boss of me. Oh, well, don't you get started. I'm the captain of the boat. You don't like it. You can walk on water. Uh, she was replying to Scott. Oh. Right. oh. <laughs> uh, Michael Glad says, uh, cool shirt, Chris. I like it. I like it. This is uh, my Batman shirt with the active camouflage. That way, uh, you know, it's that oh, new military stuff. We that reminds with. me. When Carrie and I were walking back down. Um, Stop the, the, No. You're making um, people dizzy. When Carrie and I were walking back down the dock mm-hmm. uh, the, when we launched. Oh, you mean the ramp? Yeah, the okay. ramp. <laughs> that thing. The long <laughs> that concrete thing of a long. We were looking for you guys in the boat. Y'all were, were active camouflage. All we saw was the boat. We did not see you guys in the boat. Oh. Waiting for us. <laughs> Maybe you need a bigger monitor. <laughs> <laughs> No, y'all were in active camouflage. We were almost to where you guys were uh-huh. when we actually saw that you guys were sitting down waiting in the boat. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering what the hell took you guys along. So that, we're going to get to that next because that, that was exciting. Not. Um, hold on. Let's see. Carrie says, uh, we channeled our inner puppies. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Stay. Carrie yep. says, uh, something to do with the sugar and fear and frigid brains. We lost our minds. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> So, uh, 
So we, we pulled around, we got the boat out and did the whole nine yards and got got tied up to the actual dock part and we made sure we were out of the freaking way because people are doing their thing. So don't want to be involved in that mess. But uh, you... you <laughs> so I'm in the boat launching the boat and you had to pull out and go away. And as you pulled out with the trailer, part of the trailer fell off right there on the, on the ramp. Just <laughs> uh-huh. And we didn't realize at first what was going on. We're like, what's that? And then look, and there's this, one of the giant wooden thingamabobs that's, that's on the trailer that the boat sits on had completely come off and smacked onto the ground. <laughs> We're like, like, what the hell? So we've been having issues with this damn trailer since since we got it. Um, whoever put the thing together didn't use nylock or lock washers or anything, so the vibrations have been slowly pulling all the bolts out and crap's been falling off. This time, apparently, well, the the wood, uh, they put new carpet over the wood, but the wood itself is actually rotted out, and there was a rusty bolt holding it together, and the nylocks fell off on, well, the non-nylocks, the other bolts on the other side fell off, and so the wood just kind of gave way and it said, beep it, I'm out. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Bloop. And there it was. You get this huge chunk of wood out there. And we're watching. And you guys are out there looking at it like, what do we do? <laughs> Trying to figure out yeah, what the like, heck happened. What happened from your perspective? Because from down there, we're like, what the hell are you guys I doing? Saw it, I saw it in the in the mirror. And, uh, yes, I used the side and rear view mirrors. <laughs> 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 so I saw something move that should not have moved yeah. Um, in, in the side mirror. And uh, I stopped, and I I told Carrie, I said, crap, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> um, and I said, could you go out and get it? And then it dawned on me, that thing is freaking huge. So I threw it in the park. I got out, and we start looking at how we can put this back on and get it to just stay. <laughs> and I looked, and I'm going, there's no way. There is just no way we can get these things back on because the one completely ripped out. And if we had um, just tightened up the rear one, it would have gone floop, floop. Just <laughs> flapping around in the yeah. breeze. But I figured, okay, at least one being tied on, you know, not strapped down, but bolted down uh-huh. was better than none. And so Carrie's looking for some tools that I could try to undo the It's the a good thing bolt. you didn't try the tools because I saw the bolt afterwards. And that rusted, cancerous piece of crap never, you would have, if you would have been strong enough, it would have snapped the bolt. There is no way that thing was coming apart. Hey, at least I had the thought to try. Uh, this is true. <laughs> but I looked at that thing when I went back up later and I was like, mm. <laughs> so, mm. so Carrie says, we'll just strap it on for now. <laughs> so so she, the ladies had a yeah. strap on the, the wood and, uh, what? <laughs> We're going to show us for a gym from Arizona. MPG 13. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, she, she used one of her ratchet straps, and we went up and parked and came back down. Yeah, so, so there, there was that whole disaster. We'll, we'll come back to that, though. Just saying, because there was more interest. <laughs> i tell you what. You know, the boat's got a few bugs here and there that we need to work out. Nothing serious, but that trailer needs some love. But we'll get into that later. But we managed to successfully launch, even though the wood fell off, and then you guys had to strap yeah. it back on and all of that. It, it was interesting. That's all I got. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, let's see. Kelly says uh, glasses, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we, you know, we had that. That was just part of the adventure, I guess. I, yes, it was. Oh. There was something in my coffee. Ew. Yeah. What was it? Was it a bug? I don't know. It didn't look like a bug. It looked more like a ground. Like, oh, okay. That, that's more acceptable than a bug. I would rather have a bug. No, I don't like bugs in the coffee. <laughs> bugs in the coffee are no fun. Uh, let's see. Carrie says uh, he's strap on. He says strap on to it. Yes. yes <laughs> <laughs> Renee is dying over there. He's like. <laughs> well, I don't even know, man. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> the ladies had to strap on some wood. That's all I'm saying. What? Dave just popped in. <laughs> comment. Oh, did he? Oh, let me check. Hold on, hold on. Let's just saying. Away. Dave says I'm sad now. I miss the ladies strapping on the wood. I know, man. It was exciting. Uh, how much? Uh, what? How much for that? Video? <laughs> Take now. my money. <laughs> Unfortunately, we weren't videoing. I apologize, Dave. But that is part of the perks of being in behind the hat unplugged. 
if you but, manage to go on one of these trips, you get to witness it firsthand. But the thing is, is poor Dave wanted to go, but he already had plans. Yeah, he already had plans. Uh, but hey, Because it was Father's Day. Yeah, it was. You yeah. know, so, a lot of people had plans. Yeah, and it was and a last-minute thing. It was. It, it definitely <laughs> was a last-minute. I'm, I'm in my office yesterday morning. He peeks in around the corner and says, hey, it's Father's Day. Want to go on the lake? <laughs> sure. Like, <laughs> hey. like, why not? Why not? <laughs> oh, let's see. Kelly says, uh, strap it on the wood. Fun! All right, well, we know what's going on over there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Kelly's doing a little dance or something. Uh, you got to hover over oh, that. Hold on, let's see. Yeah. Oh, Kelly! <laughs> <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly broke it. That's <laughs> it. If you don't know what we're talking about, if kids are present, do not look at that meme or the little gift <laughs> runner. <laughs> oh, my goodness, it's amazing. <laughs> anyway, all right, moving on. <laughs> moving on from that show. Yeah, we weren't filming, Dave. Um, yes, technically an epic fail, but that's one of the exciting parts about being a member of Unplugged and actually going on one of these uh, events. Uh, yes. You get to see it firsthand and it's burned into your mind. Uh, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, man, it was great. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, we were launching. <laughs> oh yeah. So, all right. We finally got to that. So, Antelope uh, Point uh, Marina or <laughs> Antelope Point Public Launch right? open. You can launch. Be careful. Narrow. Blah blah blah. Yes. All right. So now we're gonna get on to uh, to. I, I want to talk about the kayakers for a minute. So you've got people <laughs> that like to kayak, and they're normal people. Uh, yeah. But then you have the kayakers that are like kayakers. And um, they remind me of people that... Uh, what the hell was that? Cold chill. <laughs> I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Oh, hold on. I got some more comments. Oh, here. No. Uh, let's see. Carrie says, uh, We missed you. I promise you will never be passed up again when I experiment with tamales. So, does that have to do a strap on? Uh, Kelly's laughing. Uh, Carrie says, Or strapping on wood. See, see, she, she already beat me to it. Look at that. Mines are on the same track. Anyway, so, as I was saying, you've got people that, that, that like to do kayaks and stuff like that, and then you've got the hardcore kayakers. And it's the same thing with bike people. There's people that like to ride bikes, and then there's... Bicyclists. The bicyclists. Not bikers, because those are uh, right. right. yeah, the ones with the motors. <laughs> Self-propelled two-wheel vehicles. Yes. Anyway... So then you've got the bicyclists that are the bicyclists. And you might be thinking to yourself, what, what is he talking about? So I'm talking about the jack bleeds, bleepers. <clears throat> I'm talking about the ones that are, that are extremely self-entitled. That, uh, that think, you know, they, they should be able to take up the entire road or their bike lane or whatever and that everyone must yield to them. And that, you know, they just have that entitled mindset where... Everything belongs to them, and uh, and everyone else has to uh, give way to that demand because, well, they're a biker or a kayak, bicyclist, whatever. <laughs> and because of that, they are you know they're a higher class of person than you or whatever it is that's going on in their stupid little minds. I don't know. If you're one of these people, check yourself. <clears throat> and if you find it offensive, then you're part of the problem. But anyway, so. There's the bicyclists that do these things. There is this group of kayakers that do the same. So, number one, <coughs> remember I mentioned that the uh, the uh, launch ramp that goes down, part of it has been cordoned off because it's too short to launch boats on. So you can still launch kayaks from over there. Which is, you know, it's, that's nice. I mean, hey, you've got a little sheltered space and everything. But do please remember that you have a kayak... Um, that you can basically pick up over your head and throw into the water from pretty much freaking anywhere. Um, it's not exactly rocket science to get the thing off and push it in the water. You don't need a freaking ramp because, you know, you don't have a 4,000-pound boat with a truck trying to back it into the water. So, therefore, you should not be taking up the same amount of space on the ramp that's only this wide to launch your stupid kayak. Pick it up and throw it in the freaking water. <laughs> oh, and by the way... When you have your little safe space there on the ramp, mm -hmm. use it. I know, right? Because there, there was, there were several. They're, they're, they're backing down to the water, and it, they got a kayak on the roof. They're taking up a whole slot. Remember what he said? 
two, two and a half boats, right? There's kayak with a truck taking up the same amount of space that a real boat could be taking up over there. And we're not talking about the businesses. No, that, that are doing And the, you know what? They don't do that. I know. They back up over to the other place, I know, but I'm, throw the kayaks into the water, and leave. Uh-huh. They're, but they're that's not the what I'm getting at. Is we're not talking about the businesses. Which is funny. It makes sense that the businesses would do that yeah. because they're uh, offloading like 12 of them. Yeah, then they don't. <laughs> they, 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 they back down to the, to the K-rail side, and they, they throw the stuff uh-huh. in there, and then off they go. <laughs> they're not backing their whole truck down into the water and taking their... It just... I don't even, I don't even know, man. Two sets I wanted to run over yesterday. I know. I'm like, what are you When we launched and when we came back in. Yeah, and then they'll come in, and instead of going to their little sheltered side, which they don't actually need, they'll come in and they'll take up a whole section on the ramp when they're, you know, they paddle themselves in and go right up onto the ramp, and then they'll push their kayak up where it's in the way of everything, and they'll just kind of walk off. <laughs> What are you doing? Stop it! Get your crap out of the way. We have a bunch of comments <laughs> going on over here. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Okay, no. Title of the turd. Carrie says, or the entire uh-huh. launch ramp, right? And Dave says, uh, Carrie, it's a good thing we are friends or we'd be fighting right now. Bacon and tamales! <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole war going on over uh, bacon yes. and tamales back Unplugged, here. Unplugged, man. Unplugged. Kelly says, uh, cyclists bleep me bleeping out. Says, mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> Carrie says, uh, if it makes you feel better, I did have a bag for you, but I ate them. Oh, 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 Dave, she ate your bag <laughs> of tamales. <laughs> right, she was from the same person. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, yeah, so if you're a kayaker, you know, just have some common courtesy and some common sense, man. You got a little tiny thing that you're paddling around. You already have a section that you don't need saved for just you. Get the f- out of the way! <laughs> Bleep! Yeah. What? I know. It, it, it's not rocket science, man. Your boat is the size of, you know... A thumbnail. <laughs> there is a reason. And you don't need the launch ramp, but they still have a section just for you. Stay in it! There is no reason for you to take up the whole freaking ramp when it's only this much of it anyway. Mm. All right, where was I? Oh, we haven't even launched yet, and I it's. A, I mean, we've got like. What, Apparently, this is going to be a two-day series. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lieutenant Dan. Carrie says uh, I was totally cussing them out yes, from the hill. Was. I know it was. It was ridiculous. It's like, what are you doing? It, it's totally unnecessary. You self-entitled little bleepers. Uh huh. <sighs> oh. Oh, no, oh. that would that's when we come back. Oh, Never yeah, I, we haven't gone to that yet. No, no we no, haven't. Because no, no, no. Carrie, Carrie, Kelly, and I saw something freaking hilarious. I couldn't record it because my phone was dead. Mm. <laughs> and, um, and it happened too fast for uh, Carrie and Kelly to uh, pull their phones out and yeah, record I didn't it. See it. And, and yeah. no, no, oh! you, you and Scott were up, up getting the truck. Oh, oh, man. Oh, now I'm curious. Now you're going to have to tell me exactly what was going on over there. Tourists. Right. Tourists. Oh, oh, tourists. I love the stories from and the jet tourists. jet skis. Oh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't get me started on those jet ski people, man. Oh, no. This had nothing to no, do with No, no. I know. But that's like a whole different thing. You're know, like kamikaze pilots, man. Those guys are crazy. This, this... <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> this had to do with common sense. So, so um, jet skis aren't as heavy as, as boats, no, no, no. but they're definitely not as light as a kayak. Oh, yeah. Well, those ones, I can, you got to back your trailer and get them up. I can totally see that because, you know, you can't pick it up and throw it over your shoulder or throw it off into the water. Oh, these guys thought they could. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. They were trying. All right, well, you're gonna have to tell me that later because we don't want we don't want to jump to the end of the story before we get there. That's a, yeah, yeah. Carrie yeah, saying the jet skiers. Carrie <laughs> says I still had some sugar bleep going on. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. The jet skiers. Yeah. yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. John says good morning. This is Chris, Chris Lee, Lee with, with OPN. OPN. Yeah. No, you're not. I am. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I think he was waiting for you to say it. Oh, you, you know your little kitsch phrases. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, 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 uh. We already did that at the beginning. But thanks for joining. <laughs> Gary says uh, they weren't even in the water. Oh, well, we'll get to that. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't record this. Really? I said it happened too fast. 
There were so many things that happened yesterday that needed to be recorded and weren't. But the Unplugged crew was able to check it out, so I guess that's something. Yeah, yeah, but I missed it, man. <laughs> you have to wire that boat with cameras everywhere. Yeah, you do. <sighs> Waterproof. Jeez. Well, obviously. <laughs> Come on, it's the lake. <laughs> so we managed to get everybody loaded onto the boat, and uh, and off we went. Yes. <laughs> Although, there, there's another one for him. Back to the kayakers. <laughs> so... The wind starts picking up fairly heavily. I mean, it's not bad, but it's enough, you know, where if you don't, if you know, if you're not tied down to something, we were tied to the dock. If you weren't tied down, it's definitely going to scoot your butt this way. You're going. You're gonna, the wind's going to take you away. And uh, and so we're getting ready to go and everything. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you know, I mean, there's this whole line of freaking kayakers that are coming from the other side going this way. And they see us and that we're getting ready to do it. And they start paddling faster so that they can get behind me. Which means I have to tie back up to the dock or hold on to something because the wind's blowing me away. So I have to get out of the area so that I can get into open water and not bang into other people, boats and things like that. Uh, But now there's half a dozen freaking kayakers behind me that are going to get turned into shark chum. Uh, you know, with my prop, which would have been extremely gratifying, but uh, probably frowned upon. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think insurance covers that. Yeah, probably not. Uh, although it would have been exciting. <laughs> oh, we have comments. Oh, Let me what? catch up on the comments. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Melody says, hey, you two from North Carolina. Good morning. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Dave says, hold my bear. i got to record Oh, this. that was said a couple of times. That actually <laughs> was. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my beer. I got this. And we're like, uh oh. Like, stuff's about to get real. <laughs> oh, yeah. We haven't got to that part. Yet. No, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. John says, uh, gotta have that Chris Lee catchphrase. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a few. <laughs> I do have a cat. I don't even know, man. <laughs> that would be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Renee says, uh, if it makes you feel better, I missed it too. Yes. One of these days. Uh, one of these days we'll get you. Melody says, uh, making our annual trip this year with our grandson to beautiful Lake Powell from Western North Carolina. Yay! Awesome! That is amazing. Be safe while you're out here. We hope you have an amazing time. Yes. Yes, That's please awesome. do. Yeah. All right. I like it when people come down to check it out, man. As long as you're safe. And yeah. don't be one of those self-entitled bleepers. <laughs> Oh, yes, an Antelope Point public lawn ramp is open. Uh, Dave says, uh, the speed bumps of Lake Powell. Oh, Oh, kayaks. The speed bumps of Lake Powell. They provide a service for wakeless zones. Yes. I totally agree with you. No, I do do try and, uh, you know, I'm always nice to the kayaks and stuff. I make sure I give them wide berth and I Uh try and make sure that I don't give them wake and stuff like that. Which is, that's, I think, is the most irritating part. I don't really expect anything back, but except maybe some common courtesy. You know, like, get the work that way. out of my way. <laughs> Gross tonnage has right of way on the water. You are more maneuverable than I am. Move! <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> Tell them saying, man. Yeah. Or, <laughs> I don't even know if we'd feel that if we went over one of those. I'm just saying. We got we got, we got a try hex tune boat. That thing just, thump. We might hear that. <laughs> That's probably it. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. And no, I wouldn't do it intentionally, but sometimes you guys make it very difficult. To not. Yeah. I mean, like like I said, the wind is blowing us. We're just untied from the dock, and we have to go... And, and then, then you've got me watching what's going on. I'm trying to hold the boat and bring the boat back, and I'm going, you know what? Just run them over. <laughs> I'm like, no, we can't do that, Lois. That would not be nice. Although it was very tempting. So we had to get back onto the dock and wait for the slow bleepers to get past and then one of them decided oh i will go ahead and wait so it was a nice person they're they're like oh and i'm like thank you because we need to get the hell out of here and we got out and we waved and we said thank Mm -hmm. you and everything and then we were able to go on but the you know the like four or five before that are just like screw you because we're self-entitled kayakers you must give us way Uh, it's like shut up (laughs) you're in the way (laughs) behave yourself you know, I could just... Mm. Huh? You, you can tell when it's intentional, too. Just like yeah, the kayaks that are launching from the wrong spot. Just launch it from the dirt spot. Launch it from the sand spot. Or from your own little protected zone on the freaking ramp. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Hold on. Let me catch up on the comments. 
Uh, let's see. Renee says, it's like backing out of a parking space in a parking lot. That's when all of the people in the parking lot walk behind you, right? It's the same thing. Uh -huh. They're just like, la-dee-da. Get out of the way. <laughs> Gina says, uh, makes me nuts. They see you back up lights, and they will still walk behind you. Yeah. yeah. And then they slow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or the ones that think, apparently, that they're part car, because they walk right down the middle of the freaking lane in the parking lot, and you're driving right at them, and they don't go to one side or the other. They just walk in. It's uh -huh. like, hey, pull your head out of your bleep, or we're going to run you over. Move. <laughs> just saying. Pretty much. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. <laughs> Scott says, uh, may hear the head smack the pontoon. We might. But, uh, you know, I've had some waves hit it pretty hard, too. Oh, so. Kelly, I love the... the <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie says, oh, my God, you should have been there. I ran back. Oh, you can't... Wait, is this the, the thing? Oh, what? yeah, that's for tomorrow, because yeah, we're, we're running we're... out of... Yeah, we're about out of time, so we're going to get into that one tomorrow, Carrie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that was... That was part one of uh, the adventures on Father's Day on Lake Powell. Um, tune in tomorrow for part two, <laughs> where Lieutenant Dan comes to life. And the oh, God, Carrie. Oh, okay. okay. The next comment. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie says self-inflicted head banging. <laughs> Ding, 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 <laughs> as they go down the inside of the pontoon. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> oh, anyway, oh, back to my original premise here. Thank you for tuning in today for part one of the Father's Day Adventures upon Lake Powell with Behind the Hat Unplugged. Tomorrow, stay tuned for part two. Well, Lieutenant Dan and apparently some uh, jet skiers have some more shenanigans. <laughs> Oh, 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 goodness, yes. Oh, yeah. actually, no, it's not tomorrow. It'll be Wednesday. Yeah, it I will forgot. be Wednesday. Yeah. We're doing we're doing uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, guys. And Fridays. So. Mondays, <laughs> Wednesdays, and Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> I think you it's need Murphy more Monday. coffee. It's Murphy Monday. I do. I think it needs to be espresso this time. All right, yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have to do my walk today. <laughs> Anyway, so we will see you guys on Wednesday uh, yes. for part two of the Adventures Upon Lake Powell for Father's Day. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to see more uh, behind the scenes and and uh, come and join us when we do things like this, yes, uh, go ahead and send us a message that you want to join Unplugged. Yeah, it's only ten bucks a month. You get to have all kinds of fun. You get to join in some of that fun. Oh, and apparently there is now a new uh, karaoke style thing going on yes. in part of Unplugged. So. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh-huh. We'll go ahead and check the comments one more time before we sign off today. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, Renee is dying over uh -huh. here. Kelly says, have a beautiful day. Try not to grit teeth. Hey, we'll, we'll try. We'll try. You too. Have a great one. And Rachel says, headed there. Oh, headed there tomorrow. Headed there tomorrow. Awesome. Ooh. Good to hear it. Be safe out yes, there. Have please fun. Do. And Carrie says, I'm making a skit. Nice. Ooh. And Kelly's got Snoopy running. And uh, Kelly says, uh, so fun. Have a great day. You guys too. Carrie says, what? <laughs> Renee's giving us the alien wave. And the sad face. Oh. Michael says, thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these videos. Oh, you made me say yeah. it. You made me say it. <laughs> and Carrie says, I'm going to have uh, a cra um, crappy tie stirred. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I think it's a, um, going to right, have I gotta a get crappy Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> you could, I hope not. Dave says, uh, there are three days for broadcast. Could be Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Could be Monday, Monday, and Friday. That's part of the adventure. You never know what you're going to get. And Michael says, see you on the next one, and have a wonderful day. And screw Zuckerberg. All right, guys. You have an amazing day, and we'll catch you on the next Most one. Most definitely. <laughs> Until then. Bye. Bye, guys.